visited with a lot of the CEOs mm -hmm. uh, at several dinners and lunches and whatnot. You know, probably a couple hundred CEOs. Right. And what I heard again and again was, oh, I had no idea of the facts. I had no idea of the achievement. I, I think they're being honest. Well, actually, there's something to that. I mean, it's this, again, this cognitive dissonance that's running around in the country with um, bad information. And I'm glad that in the speech we put a lot of facts in. The president, you know, loves to do, uh, deal with facts and lay it out uh, on growth, on unemployment, mm -hmm. on the blue-collar wage boom, on the stock market. Uh, which is a sign of great business and consumer confidence and a better economy to come, on the trade deals with China, mm -hmm. USMCA, Japan, and Korea, and as you noted earlier, perhaps a trade deal with the United Kingdom, or even negotiating in earnest with Europe, so sure. that the President's very tough negotiating style to stop unfair trading practices and his effort to defend the American worker is paying off. And it's like, I guess they don't read, well, maybe they do read the papers. Maybe that's the problem, but they you're, just You're still talking about the CEOs, right? I'm talking about the they, CEOs. They, they have they, their own staffs who are required to provide them with the, the most recent data uh, on, on macro and micro uh, throughout our economy and throughout the markets in which they uh, labor. I mean, it's stunning to think that they would get their information from the Chamber of Commerce or the Business <laughs> Roundtable rather than in the real world in which they have to uh, uh, have to work. Well, that, you know, that's why I think the president's speech was so important. And you know what, Lou? Mm -hmm. I've never been to Davos before. You I've never been. I've avoided it like the plague. Uh, beyond, they're not my peeps, okay? Mm -hmm. They're just not. But my I'm, glad, I'm glad I went this year because, first of all, I was proud to be by his side. He did carry the day. Yeah. Second of all, you know, I got in my own conversations to emphasize the facts of the matter. And I think that's very important. And I think a lot of those folks have, have become Trump supporters. But again, he's just real simple. The American model. So what do we do? Lower taxes, massive rollback of costly regulations that damage business, mm -hmm. energy independence, and successful trade deals and negotiations to stop unfair trading practices, which yeah. has damaged everybody, workers, manufacturers, autos, Farmers, technology people with the tech. Just the simple program to create economic growth. And, and don't forget the, the importance of those tariffs, which those very same CEOs in Davos had said would disrupt and destroy our markets and our economy and preempt any possibility of growth and prosperity. And in fact, they have been an important tool to restoring exactly those those goals that this president set back in 2015 for himself and his campaign. Larry well, Kudlow, I agree.